All right, Shalom. All praise, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh. Bashmi, I was shy by some recall with Dash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, their rule well. And peace and blessing to the elect. Uh, another edition of uh, JMS, GMS ATL Phone Talk. I just want to talk about uh, this uh, video or this image that's been going uh, viral around the internet. Uh, I just got done watching this uh, video and um, I was uh, contemplating in the spirit, you know, you know, to do a video on it, you know. You know, was there anything significant in the scriptures on the spirit that I could bring out on this picture? Now, when you read the, uh, now this is just a still image of the video, but as you can read it here, it says, Fire Chief believes he captured Angel on camera. Now, when you zoom in to the particular image, all right, um, it does look like an angel, okay? Um, I can't say it's CGI or it's, it's this or that, but it's it's definitely in the similitude of an angel. It definitely has the form of an angel on the back of this truck. Now, you can see the tree here. You can see another car on the side here. You see a truck, and then on top of the truck, you see a figure which looks like a man with wings, and then you notice a sword in uh, this uh, figure's hand. Now, uh, the scripture talks about the uh, the menacing, because this doesn't look like no, no uh, you know, glorious angel, you know how the uh, so-called white man depicts these uh, uh, angels as, um, 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 you know, uh, benevolent beings you know with wings and you know like the uh, uh, uh you know the angels look like cupid and they're just you know floating around nah these are this is a menacing picture of an angel man okay this is a menacing picture of a of an angel okay or what an angel would look like now you can clearly see uh it looks like it's holding a sword on its side here Okay. Um, you know, uh, 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 and and the scriptures talk about how the angels appear when they look, you know, especially to the other nations. Now, not necessarily do the angels take up swords when they meet Israelites. Sometimes they do when you read in the scriptures. Scriptures talk about how two angels with uh, a flaming sword were set up at the Garden of Eden. That Adam and Eve was not able to return, but whenever uh, an angel appeared to one of these heathens, man, they uh, they appeared menacingly. Now the guy in this particular video, this fire chief here, he looks like an Edomite. He could be an Israelite, but uh, uh, it's definitely a, a, a type of uh, apparition. Okay, so I'm just going to get a couple of scriptures and just to uh, edify. And they show you how the angels appeared. Okay. Now for the record, the angels are uh are so called uh black men. Okay. Now that was a very uh vague picture, but nonetheless when the angels take an actual human form, they they appear so called black men. All right? You know, with beards, afros, you know. Um Swords, armor, okay, gullying in apparel, that, 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 that's how they appear, strong. So I'm going to read this account in Numbers, the 22nd chapter, and this is verse 22. It says, And the Most High's anger was kindled because he went. And this is, is speaking about uh, Balaam, okay. Uh, matter of fact, let me, let me start at verse 20. It says, and the Most High came unto Balaam at night. Now, now this proves, now, Balaam was a heathen, okay? He was an a, a Ishmaelite. So this proves that the Most High can even come, come to these heathens and give them dreams and visions, man, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that the Lord is going to deliver them or save them, but they do get these visions because the Most High has, has the power over the spirit of man, and overall flesh, he could do whatever he want to do. 
All right, so I'm going to say that for the record. Now I'm going to read the scripture. It says, And the Most High came unto Balaam at night. It said, it said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee, that shalt thou do. And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the princes of Moab. And the Most High's anger was kindled because he went. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way for an adversary against him. And uh, now he was riding upon his ass, and his two servants were with him. And the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand. And the ass turned aside out of the way, and went into the field. And Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the way. But the angel of the Lord stood in a path of the vineyards, a wall being on this side and a wall on that side. Now the key point is in verse 23. And you can see it clearly says that, that the angel had a sword drawn in his hand. Now, when you see this picture of this, this uh, in this image here, this looks like an angel with a sword drawn in his hand. Okay? Now, the man said, hey, you know, it could be a prayer from the Lord, but, hey, it could also be a, a sign of your coming judgment. Because if he's an idiot, if he's an Edomite, you know, he's going to be destroyed along with the rest of the Edomites here on the soil of America. But it's definitely an omen of, of uh, the times to come on America. Because the scripture says when you read Amos, the ninth chapter and the eighth verse, that the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. And the eyes of the Lord are these angels out here that's watching. Okay? So the Lord is going to bring a sword upon, um, upon Babylon the Great, man. Okay, the angels of Yahweh Bashmi Shah are watching you, Edomites, man. That's what this was a sign of, man. Okay, this is an omen of Yahweh Bashmi Shah destroying this place, man. He he said that he's uh, 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 that he uh, that he has gathered his mighty ones. The mighty ones are the angels, man. So this angel appeared. Okay. Um, and this camera, or this guy here, uh, Glenn Thorman, uh, and when you watch the video, you can actually see see uh, the whole video. And the, uh, the title of the video is here in the uh, image here. Fire Chief Believes He Captured Angel on Camera. Well, that, it's going to be more sightings of angels, man. More sightings of apparitions. Okay? And that's in the scriptures. When you go to... Uh, I believe it's Wisdom of Solomon, in the 14th chapter in the Apocrypha. Let's see, Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, okay, not 14, 17. Wisdom of Solomon, right, 17. It speaks about the apparitions that came upon Egypt. Well, those same, those same plagues and, and, and apparitions that came upon uh, uh, ancient Egypt is going to come upon this new spiritual Egypt. Here in America. All right. So this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 17. And. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start at. Start at 11. It says for wickedness. Which America is. Uh, is a place of wickedness. Okay. It says for wickedness. Condemned by her own witness, it's very timorous, and being pressed with conscience, always forecasteth grievous things. So because America is a wicked place, this, this, this uh, image of this angel here is a forecaster of things to come. Because Yahweh Bashan is going to destroy America, man. Okay, the angels of the Lord, like I said, are in uh, 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 cupids floating around in heaven. You know, naked, you know, butt naked little white babies floating around in heaven, you know, shooting arrows at people, man. The angels are mighty in appearance, man. Okay? Just like in the account that I read in uh, Numbers, the 22nd chapter, with swords in their hand, you can clearly see that, that there's a, uh, that this is like a sword here, man. All right? So I'm going to go back in the scriptures, Okay? It says, for wickedness condemned by her own witness is very timorous or timorous and being pressed with conscience, 
always forecasteth grievous things. So because you're wicked, you're going to receive grievous things for it. All right? Starting with you devils, man. All right? You Edomites, so-called white people. You're going to get your judgment. It says, For fear is nothing else but a betraying of the succors which reason offereth, and the, and the expectation from within, being less, counteth the ignorance more than the cause which bringeth the torment. But they sleeping the same sleep that night, and that, that angel appeared at night on this guy's camera, right? Which was probably sleeping. It says, which was indeed intolerable, and which came upon them out of the bottles of, of inevitable hell, you know, the grave, all right? Because these are, uh, in the ancient world, these Egyptians had nightmares, man, okay? It says, were partly, verse 15, were partly vexed with monstrous apparitions and partly fainted, their heart failing them for a sudden fear and not look for came upon them, okay? All right? So this angel that was captured on this uh, camera, or what appeared to be an angel that was captured on this camera, it's, it's, it's an apparition that's going to, uh, uh, let me see, let me read it one more time. It says, uh, right, it's to bring that fear upon those that look not for it, man. And you you uh, elite Illuminati banking families, you're not looking for your Howard Bosch, man, I was shy to, uh, to bring that judgment, man, but he's coming. Okay, he's coming, you know. But this was just my take on this image, man, you know. Uh, I'm going to end it there. You know, uh, apparitions and, and other strange things are, are going to happen here in America and around the world. Uh, to testify of the Holy Scriptures, uh, spiritual powers coming to the elect prophets as well. Okay, to prove who the Lord's chosen are. And then World War III will take place. The elect will be delivered. And America is going to be destroyed and the kingdom of Israel will come to the Israelites and the Israelites only. And all you heathen nations will be in subjection, getting getting whipped as we did, you know, getting double returned unto you for what you did unto us, the Israelites, so-called black Spans and Native Americans. And that's the future. All right. So with that, all praise the glory and honor goes to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekach Double on the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.